have completed our planned hole and now proceeding down to the final moments leading up to an ignition of the Gemini launch vehicle at 40 minutes and 59 seconds past the hour. The Mod 3 radio command guidance system now has fed the final flight parameters into the launch vehicle and spacecraft. We will be uh, launched on an azimuth of 99.9 .9 degrees. Now two minutes and 30 seconds and counting. During this phase of the countdown and over the final five minutes, just about all sequences monitored in the blockhouse are worked automatically as far as the launch vehicle is concerned. We're on an automatic sequence and we're checking the various events as they click off during these final phases. Now T minus two minutes and eight seconds and counting. This is Gemini Launch Control. In these final two minutes, of course, NASA will be breaking in and out, and we will be keeping our sentences very short here so that you won't be interrupted or we won't be interrupting NASA with these important final few minutes. And now, of course, the tension is building. Now this is the moment of truth. This is Gemini Launch Control, now T-minus 1 minute 47 seconds and counting. We do have a clearance for a launch. The Stage 1 fuel pre-valves have been opened. This permits the fuel to feed down just above the thrust chamber of the launch vehicle. Now coming up on T minus 90 seconds. Mark T minus 90 seconds and counting. All systems looking good during this final phase of the count. We will get ignition of the Gemini launch vehicle at zero in this final phase of the countdown. Zero ignition. The two engines will build up uh, some 430,000 pounds of thrust just prior to liftoff. Once the vehicle builds up 77% of this thrust, we get a go for a liftoff. This will occur some four seconds after ignition. Now T-minus one minute and counting as we go through our final checks. There you have it. We're under a minute now. Everyone here. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. All if up. all goes well, the Gemini 8 will be inserted into orbit some 1,050 nautical miles behind the Agena. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. T-minus 40. Storybook. Perfect so far. All in the, the blockhouse, the crew is reporting as they monitor the various activities over the final phase. Now T-minus 30 seconds and counting. Excitement building, the tension building as these seconds tick away. Everyone on edge. The astronauts... T-minus 20 seconds and counting. Coming up on it now. In a moment, you'll hear the countdown again. 15. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. We have ignition. And we have a liftoff. Dirty orange flame against the sky. There she goes. The half million pounds of jet thrust. There she goes. High, high, ever higher. Beautiful. 45 Absolutely seconds into perfect. the flight. Silver streak against the blue cloudless floor flight of the sky. Flight dynamics says he looks good. Heading toward orbit and high over the mark, Atlantic. 50 second mark. Now to Gemini Control. Let's get a status report. Gemini Control. What's it look like? You've heard the rocket roar. And Dave Scott gives us his first report. The cabin pressure at 5.7. Everything perfect. Everything looks good. The distance uh, now from the Cape about four miles, altitude 24 miles. A minute and a half, we'll get the first booster engine cut off. The ball continues to go well, and it looks beautiful here. What a liftoff that was. What a One minute, 30 seconds into the flight. The flight director's just been advised. Thrust looks good. That's another good, good bit of news all the way around. This has been a perfect, perfect Mark, race. one minute plus 40 seconds. And the crew is advised they look good. We'll get that booster engine cut off in less than a minute now. Less than a minute. 
That'll be that it. digital command system update has been received in the spacecraft, and Scott has depressed a little button on the right side, which indicates to the ground that it was received. This is Paul Haney talking to you from Houston Space Center. Giving you flight dynamic says we're go for staging. We're two minutes, ten seconds into the flight. All right, 26 seconds now. We should get booster engine cut off. The ground gives Gemini 8 a go for staging. That's a good word. Everything perfect so far. This is the second half of this doubleheader today. Gemini 8 astronauts on their way to history, on their way to their docking with minutes, 32 target. seconds into the flight. Spacecraft now about 52 miles downrange. And Armstrong says we have staging, and second stage has ignited. There you have it. The first important hurdle has been passed. Armstrong, Armstrong said they noted the, the staging and saw a little fireball behind them. That's when they drop off part of it behind them, and they can look around and see it. Guidance looks good. We're now 50 miles altitude. What's been amazing is the communication so perfect between the Gemini. We're and about 100 miles downrange. As you've just heard, Paul Haney has been giving beautiful. The surgeon reading. reports he's well satisfied with the values he's reading on both crewmen. Flight uh, Dynamics says we're right down the middle. All the data agrees. The so. plots are uh, an exact overlay of the plan values. A couple of minutes, we'll get second stage cut off. And then, of course, orbit. Three, Three minutes back. and 50 seconds into the flight. And communications have been reasonably good, as sharp or sharper than uh, we can recall in any past launch. We agree. Four minutes into the flight. Two minutes, seven seconds now. We should have orbit. That's 6.07. Into the flight. Flight director's advised his controllers to stand by for a status check. He's checking each one of them now. He's gotten a go from all positions here in the control center. Bill and Jim Lovell, our Capcom, has just advised Armstrong that he has a go from the ground. They'll be breaking out more cigars in Houston at this rate. This has been a perfect day so far. One, two, a one, two punch for America. Downrange distance now about 280 miles. Altitude, 80 miles. Up, up she goes. Perfect liftoff. We're getting second stage. And again, Fyden says we're right down the middle on our traces here. One minute now to second stage cutoff. Two minutes to orbit. Five minutes into the flight. 41 seconds to engine cutoff, second engine cutoff. That's the important thing. When that works, then we know we've made it. Mark point eight has achieved 80% of the velocity desired. We're now 85 miles high. And Lovell assures Armstrong again that he looks very good here on the ground. Very good all around. Should be getting that second stage engine cut off. Just about 10 seconds from now. We have second stage cut off. Actually, five minutes, 40 seconds. There you had it. Second stage cut off. And boy, the cigar... Five minutes, working. 50 seconds. In about 10 seconds, the crew should... Initiate their thrusters. Flight Dynamics confirms again he's go, and Lovell is passing this up to the crew. Back in the ground, no damage here at pad 19. Took all the flames Six out. Six minutes, five seconds into the flight. Orbit should be coming up right now. And Armstrong advises they have completed their burn. They are free of the second stage. That's it. That's it. Armstrong and Scott are in orbit right at this very moment now, beginning this dramatic chase through space. they got 1,200 miles to go. They're going to close the gap gradually over five and a half hours. It'll be a dramatic, dramatic rendezvous and then docking. Six minutes, 40 seconds into the flight, 